What is up guys tech guide master here back with another video so today in this video i'm going to show you some of my best android apps of 2018 so without further ado let's get started the first app is a browser and it's called cake browser and it takes a slightly different approach to Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. In that way, when you type in a search term, it loads up every relevant website. So from the search menu, you can just across and you can pull up every single page instantly. So naturally, because of the way this works, the initial loading takes a little bit longer than a Chrome or the Internet browser. But at the same time, having all these pages open simultaneously lets you flick between them much easier. So the second app in the list is the News G. So the News G basically summarizes the main headline into very small paragraph that you can dig it quickly. Quick, quickly. A strange exclusion is that it doesn't deliver news on a weekend, which I just don't quite get. But aside from that, it's tough to complain it. The app is for those who doesn't have much time to read newspaper or books. So the third app in the list is the Smart Kit 360. So the one app that tries to replace 32 other. It is essentially what it says on the tin it combines many simple tasks into one unified interface. Everything from a notepad and a file manager to a metronome and a torch. These things pretty much every basic task covered and it works offline as well as online. So it's it is very helpful app. So the fourth app in the list is the Vimage. Vimage combines the image and video. Once you pick the photo from your gallery, it gives you an initial screen which lets you tweak things like saturation and sharpness and contrast. All those basic functions but from there it takes you to second screen which lets you to pick from a number of different moving effects just like a rain effect or a cloud effect. So the fifth app in the list is the Adobe Lightroom which is photo editing app uh, and it's a very good photo editing app uh, when it comes to saturation, brightness uh, or a uh, effect wise. So I like to use this app because of the, because of the lot of features available on Adobe Lightroom and you can pretty much do same as, as you can do on your PC. So you have lot of function available so you can edit uh, your picture like pro. So that's it guys this is my top 5 best android apps so if you really like this video so give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and yeah peace out